Inflation is affecting everyone, even animals in Alpine, and that's why One Sanctuary is now growing its own food. In this morning's Zavali Zone, Jeff visits the San Diego Animal Sanctuary and Farm. When the cost of feeding animals breaks your budget, you roll up your sleeves and grow your own. Cheyenne, come here, boy. There's a reason. Yes, it's your mommy here. Anas Bahale rescues all of these animals that other people gave up on. They love you for what you do for them, what you are for them. Can I have a kiss? After going through a bad divorce, Anas decided to surround herself with animals. A passion that sometimes doesn't right. add up. Before inflation struck, how much did it cost to feed the animals per month? About $8,000. She's now paying $11,000 a month and could have gone under. Here we got some cherry tomatoes, romaine lettuce. If not for this garden. We've got some summer squash, the cilantro coming in. Joey Reyes is the head grower. I mean, it's the best job in the world. Because this food is for the animals. Top eaters would be the uh, tortoises. So this is a tortoise salad? Fresh produce picked right out of the garden. We have like summer squash. Feeds mouths that are always hungry. Oh, that's good for you. This perfect pile of produce is for Thor. Oh boy, here it comes. The 200 pounder almost confused. Don't go too close. Scott Hall's <laughs> finger for a carrot. Did Scott almost lose a finger? <laughs> Scott, count up all your fingers. Well, One, two, three, four, five. Scott's fingers are accounted for, which is just what the San Diego Animal Sanctuary and Farm is hoping for its operating budget. You guys ready to pig out? Ah! There's so many great stories on this farm. Wilbur and Charlotte were found abandoned on a road. Anyas didn't know, but Charlotte was expecting, and now she's raising plum and persimmon. Two extra mouths to feed, 227 others to go. That's what they do. They sleep, they eat, and they poop. <laughs> that sounds like my routine. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot of them. Joey invited me to pick their tomatoes and explosion. experience quite good the difference. Quite very good. What the animals don't eat is sold at their farm stand and sent to the Santee Farmers Market. I have a snack for you. Anna's may have had a bad breakup, but her animals have taught her. Life partners You're a good boy. come in all shapes and sizes. He's a gentle giant. In the Zevoli zone. They have a great life. Jeff Sevelin, CBS 8. What they do farm. have a great wow. life. That whole area, I mean, it truly is a sanctuary. A they have yeah. a lot of space to be able to do what they want to do. And mm -hmm. so much to go and learn from Absolutely. these animals. Watch them in action. Uh, they do such a great job of giving you tours and things, too. The farm is looking for donors to sponsor their garden. Yeah, and Scott has all his fingers yes. still. He's not missing. He needs them for that He's, photography yeah, and yeah, editing. Very he and Jeff, <laughs> yes. They are also hosting trick-or-treating for children now through Halloween. And for more information, visit the Zebley Zone page at CBS8.com. That, that garden, I mean, I was Lush, very jealous looking at that. We can grow like one little tomato. They have so yeah. many.